Welcome to The Freak Show. Welcome to my review for Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3, Episode 2, called Booth 3. This episode was written by Rob Fresco, and it was directed by Mark Beasley. Now, let me start off by letting you guys know that this is a spoiler warning, so if you have not seen Episode 2, don't watch the video. Episode 2 is usually one of the best out of every season, so I wasn't disappointed this episode. It started out with Ruby's baby busting out of her stomach and getting into a car wreck near some tourists. Anyway, the guy goes to the car and he sees Ruby's demon baby. <laughs> and it just like jumps up on him and it eats out his throat. <laughs> it, was, it was a really great scene. Um, and we get another really great disgusting scene with Ruby. She's ripping apart the umbilical cord with her teeth. <laughs> And then we see her stomach, like, her, it's all busted open and everything. The rest of the ghost beaters are at the house, kind of like getting ready for work. Pablo has this vision with this, like, really hot naked chick with nipple piercings. And she tells him that he's in danger. She says that she was sent to him by his uncle and says that Pablo must embrace his gifts. Now, later on, Dalton tells Kelly that Pablo has been touched by evil and one day he will turn. Now, they must either kill Pablo before he can kill them. At school, Brandy admits to her counselor, who is Ruby, her name is Miss Previtt, that Ash is her father, which prompts Ruby to release the evil dead to kill all of Ash's sperm. And it heads right to the sperm bank, right there in Elk Grove, where Ash has been faithfully depositing for who knows for how long, in booth three. <laughs> now, Ash asks the nurse if anyone has been impregnated with his donated sperm, and um, she obviously can't give him that information. But I love how he negotiates with her by giving her a 20% off coupon at Ashy Slashy's Hardware Emporium. <laughs> She even haggles him up to 30%. I mean, I just love it. <laughs> While he's waiting, Ash goes into a room to whack off, and the evil dead takes off um, like to the actual sperm bank. It turns the doctor there into a deadite. And the porn magazine that Ash is looking at basically comes to life. It was a great, disgusting, sperm-filled fight between Ash and the doctor. I mean, I nearly threw up when his face was like inches away from that sperm-filled floor. <laughs> and the choice of music, Aha's Take On Me, was hilarious to use for the scene. After Ash kills all the evil and leaves the actual sperm bank in a huge mess, he goes to the store and sees Kelly and Pablo. He tells them that evil is after his daughter and his unborn offspring for some unknown reason, and Brandy must be protected. Now, the episode ends with Ruby talking to the tourist that uh, there was a, a male and a female at the beginning. Well, she took the blonde one, and so she's telling this blonde tourist um, about her baby is going to be the prophesized one. When she gets Brandy to kill Ash, his powers will transfer into her demon baby. So now I guess we can understand why Ruby is working so hard to get Brandy to hate Ash. She's trying to get her to kill him. One liner of the week award goes to the chick in the magazine when she screams, objectifying motherfucker at Ash and grabs his balls. This episode was practically perfect. So I'm giving it a 10 in my book. I'm tremendously happy the show carried the tradition of knocking episode two of every season out of the filthy, vulgar, blood-soaked, sperm-infested park. Now, what do you rank episode two? And are you liking season three so far? Let me know in the comments. Join us at Ash vs. Evil Dead Junkies on Facebook. Link is in the description. And as usual, don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. In the meantime, fuck off, you primitive screwhead.